as we move forward. Beach District battle. This one's been anticipated for weeks and months. It's Salem at Ocean Lakes. These two, two have met in the playoffs before, and it ought to be a good one. That's right. This game definitely had a lot of hype going into it. As you said, Matt, two of the best teams in the area. Virginia Tech quarterback commit. Uh, Bucky Hodges trying to lead Salem here, but Ocean Lake strikes first here with a touchdown. It's the UVA commit quarterback Corwin Turtle Cutler finding the sophomore sensation Jason Lewis for a 29-yard touchdown pass. Extra point here by Taylor Bowie is up and through, and Ocean Lake's on top, 7-0 on rainy Beach District champion Salem. The Dolphins, of course, lost to Salem in last year's regional quarterfinals here. It's a jam-packed house here of over 4,000 people in attendance to watch this. And Bucky Hodges gets slammed to the ground by the junior defensive tackle Derek Nottie of Ocean Lakes. Yeah, Nottie with a, uh, very did a great job of corralling the tall Hodges. Another pitch and catch from Cutler to his receiver. That's number 19 on the reception, excuse me, number 33 here on the reception on the replay here, but a great job by the defense able to get after the receiver and corral him and bring him down very quickly. You see that Salem defense, they get after you real good. Dominique Glenn with the tackle there on Brandon Simmons on the screen play. And Salem's got the ball now, looking to run it in and punch it in. But Ocean Lakes' is defense, I'll tell you what, they are holding tough here. Three shutouts on the year coming into this game, facing a high-powered Salem attack led by Bucky Hodges. And this time, Bucky's going to fake out the defense and keep it himself on the keeper. Dives in, six-yard touchdown run. Salem an extra point away from tying things. Yeah, the very tall order here for this Ocean Lakes defense to keep this Salem offense out of the end zone, but they at least get the uh, victory of stopping the extra point, so they hold on to a one-point lead here. Ocean Lakes with it again. Cutler's going to drop back. He's going to look to his right. He's going to have a man, but look at this great display of concentration. The ball initially tipped by the defender, but the receiver able to bring it in. Yeah, Torrance Brown, the defender of Salem, tipping it, but Anthony Saysay Walters with a big catch. Just about 37 yards it is, down to the three. Ocean Lakes is going to hand it off to their tailback, Jordan Bobo. Two plays later, two-yard touchdown run. He's in it. Ocean Lakes extending its lead now, 14-6, as you see the extra point here for Bowie. It is up, and it is through 14 to six in favor of the Dolphins as they are getting it done with a dominating defensive performance up front in the trenches. And we're gonna move forward in action here as Ocean Lakes with it again, looks to add to the lead as this time it's number 33, punching it in for the score, extra point up. And the kick is good. And right now Ocean Lakes starting to run away from Salem here, but Bucky Hodges is gonna try and have something to say about it. And he does, he finds a receiver going over the middle, catch made by number seven, Tavion Brandon. And 21 to 15, the score here, onside kick on the way for the Sun Devils. Onside kick, it looks like Salem's got it, but the referees will rule it didn't go 10 yards, so Ocean Lakes will end up getting the ball, able to run out the clock in this one and come away with a victory as they got a great balanced effort. Corin Cutler throwing the football, Brandon Simmons running it for over 100 yards as the Dolphins really committed to that run game, Matt, in the third quarter as they were able to distance themselves from Sam a little bit. And the cheerleaders are saying, we're number one. Ocean Lakes all alone atop the Beach District in first place at 6-0 overall. The Dolphins win it 21-15 as you see Simmons with 106 yards rushing and a touchdown. Bucky Hodges finishes up with 386 total yards of offense and two touchdowns, but it comes in a losing effort. As we take a look around the rest of the beach in overtime, Cox over Kellum, 28 to 27. McKee with three touchdowns in that one. First Colonial, 10 to 6 over Kimsville. Collins with 64 yards on the ground and a score. And Tallwood over PA, 34 to 12. The Lions with 346 total yards, a season high. And as you see, that's the Beach District Roundup. The private school action, Norfolk Christian with a victory over Bishop Sullivan, 17-8. George Wahi, two catches, both go for 122 yards, two touchdowns there. Nansman Suffolk Academy coming off that big win over Bishop Sullivan, Matt. They get Virginia Episcopal, 57-21 behind Austin Peaks. Big game. Hampton Roads Academy gets shut out by Norfolk Academy, 55 to nothing. Brian Shivers, four touchdowns. He does it rushing, receiving, kick return, and interception return. He was all over the place. And Olive White over to Fuqua School, 35 to eight. As you see, Brummett with 152 yards on the ground and a touchdown. Our Virginia preps and Cox 11 Sports Report Player of the Week comes from Maury High School in Norfolk. Davion Taylor, the junior, with 204 all-purpose yards, four touchdowns, two of them on interception returns, and a 55-20 to win over Norview. And Matt, Taylor, and Maury, 108 points the last two weeks. They are rolling right now.